what, what what led to you kind of finding yourself uh, as this game went on? You seemed like you early on you, you were a little finding your pace, and then at some point it clicked. What did you, what did you feel clicked out there when you started scoring? Uh, just my t it started off slow. I felt like my teammates needed me to do more, so I just did more, brought to the table. Obviously, you know, it wasn't enough to get the win, but we just, we gonna be better. John, well, was this the kind of matchup that you went into, knowing this is a little bit smaller of, uh, of the team? I mean, how much did you go into this matchup with the sense that at your size you could sort of impose your will down low, and how much was that part of your strategy? I mean, it wasn't really the strategy. I was just, like I said, I was just trying to go out there and do what was best for my teammates, me and my teammates. I mean, what made them so tough to stop from three? Um, the way how they disciplined and set of screens. Everybody was playing together on that team. They cut. Uh, one through 15, I felt like they had a lot of energy. And once you have energy and confidence in the game, um, that's what happens. I mean, do you feel like you guys met that energy or, or fell short of that? I felt, I felt like we fell short to that. Uh, a lot of been going on this week. And we just got to bounce back. And we see what we got to do now from, from this game on. And we just want to bounce back and get ready to win again. I mean, you guys, you and John scored like three-fourths of your team's points tonight. Do you guys feel a little added pressure because of the current situation? Uh, not at all. I feel like me and John is a good basketball players, and we're just trying to do what's best for Pitt. I'm just trying to uh, be more synced into Pitt and do what the people back in the days that used to win do. So I don't even really care about the points. I just care about winning at this point, and I truthfully feel like I got to just play better. Guys, uh, you know, this is a team that's lost two of its top players over the course uh, of a week here. I, I, I mean, for you guys, how difficult was that? You know where you know where you're practicing with these guys for weeks and months, and then all of a sudden in seven days you have to prepare for games without them being part of your all strategy and overall sort of tempo and and familiarity. How much of an adjustment was that, and where did you all notice that the most? I mean, honestly, it's tough losing our two of our best players, but back when my high school coach used to say, "Next man up," so it's the next tool that was up and ready, you know. Nate, he a freshman, you know, his first game out there as a freshman. He did, he did pretty good, you know, just got to keep stacking bricks, man. I mean, you talked about energy a little bit ago, but if you were to weigh energy versus, like, communication and just really talking to each other, did you feel like that might have weighed more into it versus your, versus the energy? Because, you know, it looked like some of the, a lot of the switches weren't coming as fast and you guys were trying to, I don't know, catch up with each other almost after the fact. Yeah, she definitely weighed right, um it was more about communication. We didn't demand the switches like we do in practice. We were just saying it low, and we was overthinking the situation that we wasn't supposed to. We were supposed to be like on demand, saying we were supposed to switch, and just be more vocal and energized. But this is a new core group, so everybody's getting to know each other from like what position, because we change it more around. We're doing stuff that we're not used to, so we're just going to come together and get better and talk about it. What was your mood like in the locker room among the team? Mood right now? Yeah. Uh, uh, we we kind of upset because we feel like we should do better. We should have done better, due to the fact how hard we play and we practice. But today we didn't show how hard we play. And right now we we're not holding our heads down, but we know it's the next game up. But we we just want to bounce back. We just want to prove everybody wrong. You guys were down 12 points. I think it was three minutes in. You, you end up losing by 15. What was different? What, you know, what what happened in those first three minutes that really um, let them get that big lead that you guys weren't able to, to get back. Uh, the shooter, the, the, the shooter was hitting. You know, he was just flying around. It was like, like my boy Femi said, it was playing with energy and playing together. They play harder than this. You know, you play harder than the team, you're gonna win. There was a there was an early possession in the second half. I think where they got an offensive board, they got it back and scored. I think you guys scored, but then Jeff called uh, Jeff called a timeout, and he seemed like he was trying to get a message across to y'all. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can remember that time, but do you remember like where there was a point where, you know, your coach was saying what he might have said, if, and if that that charged anything with you guys or resonated with some of the things you guys worked on in practice? Uh, it was just enough is enough. They they had a lot of second chance points. That's how most of the threes came along, and most of the baskets. And we we practiced boxing out, and we haven't been boxing out and getting the rebounds like we do in practice, and it, it was just frustrating. So next game we're just gonna have to box out more. What, uh, what do you guys think of uh, Levin that had that kind of rebounding success? Because, I mean, you know, this is a pit team that had a pretty decent size advantage over them. What do you all think of Levin to find success in that area of the game? 
But 33 just, he wanted, honestly, he wanted more than this, honestly. He was just playing, he played a hell of a game. You know, great rebounder, sending hard screen, just playing dirty, just he played a great game. He just, like I said, he just wanted more than this. You know, you know, we had talked earlier about, you know, losing Nike and then losing Ithiel here for the time being. I mean, how much for you guys who, you know, y'all see this up close, how much did that change y'all's preseason or y'all's expectations for what this team could do this season? I don't think it changed no expectations. Still the same expectations as it is when Nike and Nike was here. Coach still expect the same thing. We got enough on this paper right now to still win. And I truthfully feel like that. When everybody's together and, and we all playing together, I truthfully feel like we could be one of the top teams in the ACC. And we just want to prove everybody wrong. So it's just kind of frustrating that we lost this game right now. What do you think gives you that confidence in this team? Uh, the more togetherness. This year we're together. We actually talk more. Everybody's like closer. We're not in our selfish ways. Like we're not. Truthfully, me and John didn't really see the 20 points until at the end of the game. We just want to play together and just find the best shot to win. All right. Thanks, guys.